हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल स्टडी पोएम विंड कंपोज बाय सुब्रा मनिया भारती द पोएम विंड डिस्क्राइब्स द पावर ऑफ द विंड ऑन नेचर एंड ह्यूमन लाइफ इट फोकसिस ऑन द वॉयलेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ विंड दैट कॉजिज डिस्ट्रक्शन द फायर्स विंड इज ऑल्सो सीन बाय द पोएट एज अ सिंबल ऑफ adversities in life it end with a suggestion that if we remain strong we can overcome any obstacles written originally in tamil by subramanya bharti and translated by ak ramanujan this poem is an example of modern poetry written in free verse with unequal and unrhyming lines let us start the stanza for comprehension wind come softly don't break the shutter of windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf there look what you did you three threw them all down you tore the pages of books you brought rain again you have very clever at poking fun at weaklings the poem opens with the poet's request to the wind addressing it directly he wants the wind to blow gently so that the shutters of the window are not broken and the papers are not blown about the poet also urges the wind not to throw books down on the shelf the poet demonstrate the damage caused by the strong and fierce wind it has thrown down all the books from the shelf and torn their pages it causes the cloud to make rain the poet believes that the wind by destroying the weak things seems to mock at their frailty and fragility poking fun meaning of poking fun is making fun of something weaklings a person who is weak next stanza frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all these line describes these lines describe the havoc caused by a fire's wind it destroy the inanimate things like weak houses doors rafters wood etc similarly the difficulties of life discourage human beings the poet regards the wind as a god who acts like a winnower and sort the and destroy everything that comes in his contact this means that the weak people and things are crushed by the destructive power of the wind meaning crumbling falling or to cause something to break rafter stooping beam which support the roof of the building stanza next stanza he want to do what you tell him so come let's build strong homes let's join the doors firmly practice to form the body make the heart steadfast the poet believes that the wind the poet believes that the wind god acts according to his own wishes and does not relent even when we people urge him therefore it is essential to equip our building our bodies and our heart 
with immense strength so that we may withstand strong winds as far as human lives are concerned the wind is a symbol of daunting difficulties and challenges that can be overcome only with exceptional strength resistance uh, res- resilience courage and determination steadfast meaning of steadfast is firm stanza next do this and the wind will be friend with us with us the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day the poet believes that if we are strong enough not to be shaken by the wind it will become our friend here wind stands for the hardship of life these hardship can make only weak people stagger the strong people become stronger still by facing the difficulties just like the wind can extinguish only weak flames of fire and the strong flames burn stronger still with a loud roar if we be friend the wind it will prove to be good for us flourish mean grow literary devices of the poem rhyme scheme the entire poem is written in free verse there is no rhyme scheme in the poem devices anaphora when a word is repeated at the start of two or more consecutive lines it is the device of anaphora line 2 3 4 begin with don't line 6 7 8 begin with you personification wind has been personified when the poet say you are he is referring to wind as you that means he is treating wind as a person repetition crumbling is repeated many times to lay emphasis the poet wants to say that the wind crushes everything that is weak that is why he repeats the word crumbling alliteration the repetition of a consonant sound in close connection wind we knows won't want, won't want symbolism symbolism means that the thing refer to some or other thing wind is a symbol it refers to the challenges in life he is using wind as a symbol for the adversities in our life i hope you will like this and you will you will be able to understand this thank you